Alrighty, little bird tells me you want to tame a Ranyo Nappa. So Ranyo Nappa spawn in swamps on the island and the lost island. Let me tell you how this is gonna work. You're gonna you be- You gonna tell me shit. Listen, suck my Shut up, listen to me. Suck my you man. Listen. It's no use, my friend. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is kill the males for the pheromones. So once you've got the male down, just check their inventory. That's a great question. I've been wondering that myself. And there you have it, one pheromone right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want a high level dino. For instance, I've got Bob at the sacrifice here. He's my Rex from a previous video. And Bob the sacrifice has got no idea that he's about to be impregnated. Did you hear that, Bob? He had that. So what you want to do is you want to feed Bob the sacrifice a pheromone. Put it in his inventory. And I feed it to him. However, don't do that just yet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna get to the Renio that you wanna tame and put his health down to about 100 points. Now, unless you're using damage tracker, that can be really hard, but I'm gonna attempt it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna spawn one in and you're gonna see how it all works. So like I said, we feed Bob the Sacrifice and that'll make him start glowing red. Beautiful. Then take him to where you wanna get the tame. So now we have our Renio here. And now we have to get the Renio down to 100 health points. You see, Mr. Powers. I love gold. Bob the sacrifice ain't doing so well. Here we go. So there you saw it right there. As soon as we got his health down to 100, Bob the Sacrifice got impregnated. So you'll see right now it says incubation time remaining. So you've got 52 minutes on this and he's got cravings in 8 minutes. When he gets cravings, it's going to give you an item that you have to feed him. So as you can tell here, Bob the Sacrifice is craving Enduro Stew. So what you want to do is feed him the Enduro Stew. And then you'll want to be waiting for the next craving in 8 minutes and 24. So just keep on repeating that. Keep on feeding them what they crave. So Bob the Sacrifice is craving a golden Hesperonis egg. Doesn't ask so much, does he, Bob? Now these cravings you unfortunately do have to fulfill because it helps keep the creature alive. I don't know why I gave it to him. I can feed it to him. Now as you can tell, even though he's got meat in his inventory, he is still losing health. So you could probably get away with a little bit of not feeding them what they're craving. But it's advised just to get to them. The cravings are craving. I think you've seen better days, Bob. Okay, so now he's craving a quetzal leg. You know what, dude? I'll get you a quetzal leg. Alrighty, so incubation time has just arrived. Are you ready to give birth? You look like you're ready to burst. It'll be okay. Bob the sacrifice. You'll be okay. I promise you. You'll be alright. I know you're in pain right now. You'll be fine. Three, two, one. Drop it like it's hot. Oh. Alrighty. Um, Bob the sacrifice is sacrifice. So there you have it, that's how you get one anyway. They are quite a bit of a pain in the ass to get. So the Renio and Nafis had those unlocked at level 90. So as we really know, this thing can fly. And there you have it, that is basically how you tame this thing. You can do quite a few different things, but I think the part of the fun is finding out what it can do for yourselves. Or, I can make a guide on that if you'd like to take a guide on that as well. Hope you found that useful, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.